You know, in 2007, more happened that year than the entire decade of the 70s, and I know because I was there in the 70s. As the new millennium dawned, it was no longer cable television. It was cable telecommunications, and it was serious business. Cable marketing continues to change every time the industry introduces a major new service. In the case of broadband, uh, it, it's really caused people to wake up to the idea that now there's another way that people can consume video. Ten years ago, consumers wanted choice. Today, they expect it. They don't want to sit down at 6 o'clock just because I might want to schedule a program at 6 and watch it. They really want to be able to see it whenever they want, where they want, and on various devices. And when you shrink the amount of time you watch television, you're able to expand the amount of time that you use for anything else that's of interest to you. You skip commercials, and for many people those are offensive. And what that really enables is it makes what has historically been defined as basic cable programming, premium programming. So the, the change in technology has really made it possible for consumers to have the broadest possible choices. And you can never go back. I think linear channels have a future, but today's kids don't sit and flip through the dial the way we did. I think brands will be important, but it's important to take your brand and have it in linear and in high def and in on demand and DVR and high def on demand and through whatever internet delivery services our cable affiliates might end up with. Another significant event um, that, uh, that helped uh, cable um, in the past 10 years is taking advantage of, this, of the economics and the trends that we see in Moore's Law on the computing side in two areas that are re directly related to cable. One is optical transport. The second is uh, memory storage. Optical transport helped us drive uh, additional capacity in our network, taking advantage of um, significant deployments for fiber optic uh, in the past 20 years. Uh, the second area is on the storage. That, that has direct impact on services like on-demand as they became scalable and as well as DVR um, set-tops. When you look at what happened with uh, competitors entering the marketplace, you're talking about better video products, you're talking about better speeds on uh, on the internet side and obviously better services on the voice side. Uh, interesting, it probably accelerated you know, capital that needed to be invested uh, and now looking back people are probably pleased that, that it happened at the time frame it did because the cable video product is now as good as, as anyone could imagine and the high def uh, product is terrific. Broad, broadband development in cable and our ability to, uh, to provide high speed connectivity to the homes have enabled um, a class of companies or innovations um, that, that were targeted and took advantage of that connectivity. Um, an example is um, the transformation of the music industry um, as, as well as peer-to-peer -peer services, um, IP video. Um, we've created, or we provided or enabled uh, for companies uh, from the IT side or IP development to take advantage and innovate and create products that we've never seen prior to, uh, prior to that broadband connectivity. I would argue it's because of our success um, in taking advantage of the network that we have deployed um, in the past 20 years that enabled the bundle that finally woke up those giants to compete with us. What cable has done is vastly transformed um, America and the world, really. Uh, in terms of the choice of news that people can watch. Uh, it used to be just half an hour on the three broadcast networks every night. Now you have 24-7 on six or seven different uh, channels and with different points of view. Uh, the ability to watch our government in action on C-SPAN, which is never possible before. Uh, the fact that uh, people behind the Iron Curtain could watch CNN and see what was happening in the, in the Western world made a huge difference. Um, so cable's had a, an influence on our society that goes way beyond what most other industries have. And so the opportunity, I think, that, that cable has for the, the, the top 10, the top 20 MSOs is to be sure that they're not forgetting their roots, that what made them successful was really the entrepreneurial spirit, the opportunity to really be out there and doing things. And pioneers do get arrows in, the, in their backs. 
CNN and ESPN and these other great products came along, they could have been owned by the broadcast networks, but they weren't. And I think this is another opportunity to do that, especially as it relates to broadband. We don't want uh, you know, the iTunes sale of those little uh, units to take away what can really be a powerful, bundled, all-encompassing, consumer-friendly product.